Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com. Today I'm here just to do a quick tutorial on how to weave in your yarn ends. I've had a few requests in learning how to do this so I thought I would show you today. So for today you're going to need a tapestry needle. I'm just using this large eye tapestry needle right here. You can use any one that you like. There's a couple where they actually have a little bit of a pick on the bottom and there's plastic ones, but this is tends to be my favorite, just the large eye one. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors. So I'm just going to be demonstrating on this blanket that I'm making and all you want to do is you want to make sure that when you're working on your project that you have a little bit of a tail because like I said you're going to want to weave that in. So I have two tails right here. So all you're going to do is I like to fold it in half and then kind of put it inside your large eye hook or large eye needle right here. Now because this is a white color you want to weave in your ends with the white. Now if you had this mint green you're going to weave in your mint green colors color with that mint green. So basically you want to keep the light colors with light colors in order for it to not show. And then the way that I usually weave in my ends is I just go in one direction and you want to go just in between a few times just like that and then I pull it through you don't want to pull it too tight. And then I just go in the opposite direction, again, just a few times. You don't have to make it perfect, but you want to just get it inside, the st in between the stitches, just so you can hide it a little bit better. And then finally, I go back and I go in one more direction because then I feel like when you go back and forth, back and forth like I did, it kind of hides the yarn tail a little bit and then it also secures it a little bit more too. And then once you're done, you want to just get that yarn and you want to cut as close as you can to the fabric. And that's it. And that's all there is to it. So let me show you for this side right here. So you have this green and you have the white. And again, you want to do light colors with light colors. So again, you're going to thread your needle just like that. And you're going to go in one direction for the weaving in. Now, like I said, there's no perfect way of doing it. You just want to make sure that you secure it. You can go up and down as many times as you want. You can make your tails a little bit longer if you want to weave in more of a yarn to make it feel more secure. It's totally up to you. This is just how I do it. And again, I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration of how you would weave in your ends. I know everyone's going to be doing it differently. And then one more time, you go in the opposite direction. The key is just to make your ends as secure as possible. So that way they're not popping out when you either gift your item to somebody or your just using the item for yourself. You want to make sure it's as secure as possible. So see, as you can see right here, when you weave in your ends for this one, you don't really see it at all. And then again, you want to take your scissors and you want to cut as close to the fabric as possible. And then the yarn end pretty much disappears. So that's it for today's tutorial on how to 
crochet or how to weave in your yarn end. I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, if there's any video that you would like to see, please leave me a comment in this comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me today and have a great day. Bye.